I knew he was there. He bit once, I missed him. A lot of people think I'm nuts for shore fishing this close. When bobber fishing like this. I catch a lot of fish like this. Big ones too. He's a fighter. Look at that size of that one, that's a nice one. Don't have them hooked real good. There we go. Ain't a bad fish right there. Not a bad one at all. Oh, actually, he was hooked pretty good. Not bad. All right. Get the pliers out. Get the bait out of him, or the hook. Okay, this was the first place I came to. Normally, there's not an eddy like this. Uh, the river's a little bit high. But when you come to a spot like this, you got to kind of sneak up on this on the spot like this. Um, these fish hang out real close to the bank, and they can, they, you know, you can spook them. So, I usually like to fish, I usually like to be back here, or, you know, not this far, but fish an eddy as I get up to it. Now, there's an eddy up there. I'm going to kind of walk semi-stealth up there, and when I'm still a little ways away, I'm going to cast into that eddy right there. So, all right. I just turned on the camera, and a fish just did something right over there. Jump, did something. So I know there's a big one right over there. That's the thing, if you're stealth down here, these fish have no idea that you're there. I'm gonna stalk this guy and get him. I missed this one twice, but I need to start letting them take the hook a little bit better. Now that's a keeper too. It's not a bad haul for about an hour, so I don't need to catch every single fish in the river. There's plenty for me and my wife and stuff and free some and away we go. Okay guys, well there we go. Nice little hour or so of fishing. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.